Yo, Jay here. We got some Buccaneers vs. Redskins gameplay for you. Again, I'm the Redskins. First couple games, I want to use the Redskins. They're my favorite team. Now we're playing the Buccaneers, and they got those nice new jerseys. I like those jerseys. All right, uh, sorry about the audio last game. I, a lot of you did not like it. I'm hopefully fixing it in this one. I do the recordings for Astro Mix Amp, and apparently it's not working. And I don't know, but if you're new here, subscribe. Hit the like button. It will Audio will get better. I promise if I'm not entertaining, I apologize. Don't subscribe. And I'm running Green Bay on offense. I'm running the 4-6 defensive playbook. And I'm kind of just doing the most average plays in the world to seeing what works. And on offense, I felt I was a little more comfortable with the offense passing the ball with Green Bay. And again, the running plays, I have a decent game running this game, but it doesn't turn out that way. And as you can see, I'm driving, I'm getting the clutch in the long second and third down and fourth down conversion. And I'm looking pretty good here. And then there we hit Pierre Garçon over the middle. And we go up 7-0. And I, I was kind of thinking this guy wasn't very good at the beginning. And then all of a sudden he starts dotting me up. Um, I'm going to show the entire first half. Second half, I kind of just show highlights of it. Because it was kind of, it was kind of like... Stuff, stuff, not stuff. It, I don't know. It wasn't very tight. I figured, you know, just get the basics down. Show that I can actually sustain drives and not throw interceptions. Actually, I, I do throw some interceptions this game. <laughs> and there he is, running up the middle, giving it to Doug Martin. I'm trying to think, who's the quarterback for the Shane McCown, Josh McCown, McCown. Ah, oh, it is McCown. And then there, D'Angelo Hall dropped the interception. Then he hits a streak over the middle. One thing I've I've been noticing. There's a lot of plays I think are open, and I try to pass lead it, and I don't know if I have... Oh, look at that sack we got in. We don't recover the fumble, though. I was starting to think, maybe it's the quarterback I'm using, and there he overthrows. That would have been bad. And here he is actually punting, and I'm going to show you the greatest air catch in the world. And here, I'm I'm trying to... I'm pretty sure when you play, you want to switch it up. So I'm trying to switch out my plays here, and I'm having some success with the outside zones. I'm trying to think what they're actually called. Slant. I think that's what it's called. Everything could be called outside zones also. That's the same exact running play. I'm having a little success running those type of plays. I'm trying to think, what did I run the, the last game? Strong power? There's no strong power. And even the dives were getting blown up, but I'm pretty sure the guy I played in my last game who was using his defensive tackle and read options. I haven't had any success with that. And here, Jordan Reed going big on that little uh, trail play. And then here, running up the middle. No, I'm, I'm taking what I can get here. I think you definitely don't want to abuse the same play. Oh, that's so RG3. Come on, baby. you got to make that throw. I might have actually not have set my feet. Maybe that's why I overthrew it. And then there, Jackson going huge over the middle. Um, one of my games, I don't know, Jackson has made some big catches there. And then there we hit Jordan Reed with the out route. We're going up 14 nothing. And how much time is left? Oh, this is what happens. This, now I'm starting to throw highlights. I end, he ended up fumbling the kickoff. And there I... Uh, or an interception. And I could have took my three to make it a three-score game, but at this point in the game, I'm kind of playing to get better. I'm not, I'm playing to win. I'm not playing. Like, if I was really playing to win, I want to go up three scores, and I would have took the three, but I threw the interception. Or wait, no, that was third and nine. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And here, you can see this guy's dotting me up now, and I'm throwing a lot of different... All my blitzes, I... I'm just taking guesses. I had hadn't ran the four... I didn't run the four six in Madden... 25, and I, but I ran it in Madden 13, I think for a little bit, and it was okay. I've never been, I've never had a lot of good success out of it. And here we get the ball back, and uh, we're going back to the zone stretch play. A stretch, what was I called it? A slant, no, it's a stretch. And you can see I'm, the block is definitely holding, but I'm coming out in different formation stretch plays, because I'm pretty sure if you run it two times in a row, second time you run it, it's probably going to get shut down. And then Alfred Morris, is, yeah, see, it, that's pretty good. Got over 100 yards this game. I think the last game he got shut down with the exception of that last run. And then Roy Hilu, spin a Rooney. We're going up 21 7. And definitely, like you said, I guess he was driving my, on me in the first half, so I don't know why I was kind of thinking he wasn't very good. Maybe he still isn't very good. <laughs> I don't know the fact that I'm up by two scores. But you can see this guy is uh, making some dots. I'm trying to see what kind of coverage. I'm still sending blitzes, I'm sending four. Coverage it ain't really there. I honestly don't even know what I'm running. But um, also I want to talk about UNG Gaming. For you people that play money matches, money games, play wedge. Ooh, wait one second. 
Right, right, though. Get the stuff in the background. Play wager matches on UMG.com. They want they want to support competitive Madden. I mean, if Madden really takes off there, you might see Madden as a side event at a at an event at UMG Niagara. They did have NHL people that only end up playing Gamer Saloon. I'm telling, they have good support. Like you're gonna, they definitely you're not gonna have a lot of problems with them. I would recommend start playing there instead of UMG Gaming if you w ever want a chance of there being a real tournament. That is not um, a mutt tournament. Last year there was really no there was no tournament except for a C4 tournament, and that's just my little thoughts on that. And here, see, this guy's uh, pretty good. But um, anyways, just basic gameplay to get you guys a little something, something, something. Subscribe, like, I hope the audio is better this time around. And one last touchdown. Anyways, play 10DS Bros. Peace.